frog legs. Um, we are going to tie our neckerchief. As you can see, this is my neckerchief. It's tied, um, but I had to cheat and look at the video. Um, so long story short, my neckerchief has been tied for two years. <laughs> I didn't. I have never tied it after after I left A school. It, it, we tied it there, and I have not tied it since. Um, so that was about two years ago, and then I did a uh, an inspection at the NOS, and someone said it was tied wrong. So then I untied it, re-rolled it, and then I could never get. I couldn't remember how to tie it, and someone else tied it, and so then I forgot about it. So. I've steamed it, it looks good, I looked at the video, so we're going to show you because I forgot we didn't talk about that. So, um, so in, in the event that you need to tie a new neckerchief, you need to get a new neckerchief, um, I'll even do a neckerchief rolling video, um, hopefully it'll be in the next few weeks so that way it'll go along with the neckerchief tying. So you can get them pre-tied, this is not pre-tied, this was the one that I got in boot camp, this is actually my boot camp one. Very nice. It's rolled. It's actually secured with uh, electrical tape. And so my electrical tape is a little off center, but that's okay for the purposes of what we're doing. Um, so what you need to do is I'll step back a little bit. You need to have your right side just a little bit sh longer than your left side. It's about a fifth, about fist length or four fingers, um, however you want to measure that. Then you will do right over left and then put your left side through the hole like you would do a regular necktie and then you will do left over right and through and then through the little hole. Oh, oh, oh. Nope, never mind. Yes, right over left and then through the hole and you'll end up with a square and it's a square knot that's why we have to that's why nobody remembers how to tie it because it is a specific way that the Navy wants you to do it. You're going to have to fool with it um, and the best way to know if it's tied right is you'll have on um, either your dress white blouse or your dress blue blouse and you're going to make sure that the knot of your square um, goes over the little V that, you know, it where your collar meets the rest of your blouse. So mine falls about cleavage about cleavage high, where my cleavage starts is about how mine is. I may have to readjust sometimes. Um, and you just make sure you pretty it up, make sure it looks a little square, and you make sure your little tails are even as best as, best as you can. So as you can see, you can see um, the electrical tape, but I don't worry about the fact that it's not completely even because it falls underneath the bib. Um, hopefully you can see me. Uh, so I don't worry about it. So this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what it should look like. It should be a pretty square looking knot. So you just make your adjustments as needed. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. Post your comments below. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.